This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by Nationwide Insurance. Did you know that each year over 400,000 people are injured in crashes that involve a driver who is distracted in some way? And it only takes one time to cause irreparable damage or damage that can follow you for years down the road. So here to explain that in more depth is Nationwide Insurance Agent Thad Truitt, who's based out of Lewis. Thank you so much Hello. for coming in, Thad. Hello. Good to have you here. <laughs> so, I, it's probably not too much of a surprise to most people that younger drivers can be more distracted than older drivers. Is that right? It is, and it's just the lack of experience behind the wheel that either makes the difference or just they just don't have the time, you know, behind the wheel driving. And um, when you add something like a cell phone, radio, or something, it, it is more distracting than right. to, for an adult. Mm. Right. And yeah, and obviously, distracted driving happens uh, throughout the year. But do you think that there's something particular about this time of year during the summer that kind of? Probably summer is the um, kids have more free time. You know, they're not just in school, um, and they're, they are traveling back and forth to the beach. They're, you know, running, you know, going back and forth to work for the ones that, that have summer jobs. So yeah, it, it does happen more frequent in the summer just because of the amount of time they are on the road yeah. versus during school school time. Yeah. So so what do you think is entailed in? What, what is distracted driving? What's involved here? It's, it's obvious, the, you know, the, the most obvious one is the, the handheld devices. Um, <clears throat> the other um, items are, or the other issues are, you know, changing a radio station, right. you know, adjusting the heat or, or um, it, weather or the temperature in the cars, and then as well as eating, you know, putting up applying makeup. It, it's entitled, you know, a ton of different things, as well as now that the newer cars are getting, you know, with the technology, it does take your eyes off the road more than it used to be. Yeah. Right. Can think about that, yeah. And so so what does um, distracted driving do to a person? Like, what do you charge, what is a charge for that? It's actually, there's no, it doesn't affect your actual driver's license. Okay. There's no points assigned to it, at least in Delaware there's not. But it is, the first violation is $120 fine. And then the second, third, fourth, if, if there are, it's 300 just just over $300 in, in fines. Wow. Pick them out up? Yes, yes. Is there anything a parent can do to help their kids not text while they're driving, not get distracted while they're driving? The, the obvious is the lead by example. You know, a, a, most kids say, yes, I have been in the car with my parents, and, you know, they did, you know, make a phone call or were texting or checking an email. You know, so that's the obvious one. Uh, another option is to install an apps on phones to right. disable, you know, the mobile functions while you're driving. Right. Um, you know, there's there's several different ways, and then also my um, daughter, 17, her friend group has a rule that if the driver gets a text or receives a text, then the passenger reads the text and, if necessary, replies to the text. Great idea. Oh, so wow. yeah, so it doesn't you know they don't, aren't in that position where they want to check a text. You know, I hate to admit, I was I was one of the world's worst. I was a terrible example for Zachary, and he used to bust me on it all the time. Yeah. Dad, put your phone down. Dad, put your phone down. Uh, and that's one of the other things. If you can encourage your your kids to speak up, whether they're in the car with you and say, "Hey, mom, dad, you know, they put the phone down," yeah. or if they're in with friends say, hey, you know, put, put the phone down or don't do that or whatever. It just encourages them. Yeah, be accountable. Yeah, yeah. And, and you mentioned your 17-year-old, and that's yes. why you're passionate about this. Yes, I have a 17-year-old, 14, and 12-year-old, so wow. it's coming. And um, so far, it's, I'm pretty sure she's good about not texting and driving, um, but she has the hands-free, you know, in, in her car. Uh, you know, so that, uh, you know, phone calls and stuff like that, and then she does. She will hopefully wait until she gets to wherever she's going to make, you know, to, to check the text or whatever. And that's the key. It's not like you know, the earth's going to end before you no. get somewhere no. out of traffic to, to be able to take care of it. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Dad, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Some thank really you. Important thank information. you. Yes, thank you. We want to so keep much. our teens around. Yes, so oh, definitely. All right. <laughs> now, if you'd like to read more about nationwide insurance, all you have to do is go to delmarvalife.com.